हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल नंद किशोर क्लासेस इफ यू हैव यट नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट लाइक इट एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल बटन आल्सो सो दैट व्हेन एवर वी पुट एनी अदर वीडियो यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्रिग्नोमेट्री वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन टूडेज लेक्चर एंड फ्रॉम अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल बी फॉलोइंग एन बुक सो इन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री we will deal with right angle triangles have a look on the board i am going to draw a triangle let's suppose this is a right angle triangle abc right angled at b right usually we take it base we take it perpendicular and we take it hypotenuse right in trigonometry we are going to deal with different angles also like angle a angle c and we will we will learn about six trigonometric ratios also now what are those trigonometric ratios before going to those i am going to write one pattern on the board which we will learn see this pattern and i am going to pronounce it in hindi because this pattern to be learnt in that way only सी पंडित बद्री प्रसाद हर हर बोले सोना चांदी तोले सी एस सी सॉरी सी एस सी मीन्स चांदी सोना चांदी आई एम गोइंग टू रिपीट पंडित बद्री प्रसाद हर हर बोले सोना चांदी तोले चांदी सोना चांदी you need to remember this pattern because it is going to be very helpful this lecture will be very interesting based upon this only just see what does it mean p i'm going to write here p means perpendicular do remember p means perpendicular b means base this one i'm talking about and then next is h h means hypotenuse right i hope you are clear with now remaining these six terms this s we will call it sin spellings are s i n e but actually what i am going to write s i n a sin a a means angle i have taken from this triangle we will pronounce it as sin a you can write sin theta whatever the angle will be given that angle can be used c this c cos actually it is cosine we will pronounce it as cos a so sin a cos a sin of any angle cos of any angle t means tangent t means tangent this c means cosecant this s means secant and this c means cotangent so we need to learn all these terms i'll repeat p means perpendicular b means base h means hypotenuse these six are new for you all s means sin a c means cos a t means tangent a c means cosecant a s means secant a and c means cotangent a now see why we have learned this pattern it will make the concept very easier now for us what is the value of sin a i am going to write here value of sin a if i have learned this pattern it's very easy see sin value of sin will be given by p upon h it will be given by p upon h it is written here sin means p upon h next is cos cos means b upon h see i am writing here cos means b upon h and third one is tangent tangent means p upon b tangent means p upon b i hope you are clear with this so it's very easy s means p upon h this cos means b upon h and this tangent means p upon b look at this bottom ones cosecant cosecant a what will be its value 
सी साइन वॉज पी अपॉन एच दिस को सीकेंड विल बी एच अपॉन पी इट्स रेसिपी प्रोकल ऑफ दैट सी हाउ इजी इट इज फ्रॉम दिस पैटर्न टू राइन लर्न एंड राइट दिस एस इज सीकेंट ए इट इज एच अपॉन बी रेसी प्रोकल एंड लास्ट इज कोटेंजेंट कोटेंजेंट विल बी बी अपॉन पी so in short what we have studied this sin is p upon h cos is b upon h tangent is p upon b and this bottom line cosecant is h upon p secant is h upon b and cotangent is b upon b see how easy it is from this pattern to learn now see what results i have formed from here sin is p upon h cosecant is h upon p what does that mean they are reciprocal of each other right so what i can write I can write here, sin a is equal to one by cosecant a. I can derive this result because both are reciprocal. It is seen there. Look at cos and secant. It is b upon h. It is h upon b. That means clearly, cos of a is equal to one by secant of a. Right. Same way, tangent and cotangent are also reciprocal of each other. I am writing here, tangent A is reciprocal of cotangent A. I hope you are clear with the concept. So let us move ahead. Now we have learnt one concept. We are going to implement it now. Look at this triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, I am going to use angle A as of now. and going to write all the trigonometric ratios sin a cos a tangent a right and after sin cosecant a secant a and cotangent a what was sin a sin a was p upon h cos a b upon h tangent a p upon b cosecant a reciprocal of it it was h upon p secant a h upon b and cotangent a b upon p right this is what we have studied now now according to this triangle we are going to explore more what is perpendicular in my triangle it is bc and what is hypotenuse it is ac because it is written there so i'm going to write ahead cos a will be ab upon ac tangent will be perpendicular upon base means bc upon ab cosecant a will be ac upon bc secant a will be ac upon ab and cotangent a will be ab upon bc so according to this diagram this b p and h everything was written so i have directly just taken the values but the point is now directly we want take this as a base and this as a perpendicular taking perpendicular and base depends upon which angle we are talking about here i was talking about angle a do remember i was talking about angle a so angle a and 90 degree what i need to focus whichever angle i am using that angle and 90 degree will together make a base right so here i was using angle a and 90 degree so base is ab and one is this ab is base obviously this is hypotenuse definition is side opposite to 90 degree is hypotenuse so remaining third side will be perpendicular i hope you are clear with but now if instead of angle a i am going to write all these terms again using angle c then what will happen let's have a look now what we are going to take c we have taken all the angles c now now angle c where is angle c angle c is here and angle c and 90 degree do remember angle c and 90 degree they are making bc as base now right hypotenuse no doubt it remains same so third remaining line will be perpendicular i am repeating 90 degree 
and the angle which we are using and we are using angle c here it makes base bc and this line will be perpendicular and ac will be hypotenuse so accordingly we are going to write now so sin c perpendicular upon hypotenuse will be ab upon ac just check the diagram cos c is equal to base upon hypotenuse means bc over ac tangent c equal to perpendicular upon base that means ab upon bc cosecant c h upon p that means ac upon ab and same way now following the pattern ac upon bc and here it will be bc upon ab so i hope you are clear now how to write trigonometric ratios and how to select perpendicular and base from a right angle triangle it depends upon the angle which we are using now one another thing one more result which we are going to learn we have studied sin and cosecant are reciprocal of each other cos and secant are reciprocal of each other and tangent and cotangent are reciprocal of each other one more result tangent a is equal to sin a upon cos a tangent will be equal to sin upon cos we can prove it also take the right side what is sin sin is p upon h what is cos cos is b upon h this h and h cancel so we get p upon b and what is p upon b p upon b is tangent which is equal to our left side so see proof is very easy so one more result we will remember tangent a is equal to sin a upon cos a and tangent and cotangent are reciprocal of each other so cotangent a will be equal to cos a upon sin a so this is all formulas which we need to learn and we are not learning it we have learnt one pattern that pattern specially we will need to learn accordingly we will be able to write all the trigonometric ratios let us revise that pattern once again सी आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द पैटर्न अगेन एक बार आप सब लोग मिलकर बोलिए भी जरूर साथ में पंडित बद्री प्रसाद हर हर बोले सोना चांदी तोले चांदी सोना चांदी पी क्या होता था परपेंडिकुलर बेस परपेंडिकुलर हाइपोटेनियस हाइपोटेनियस बेस साइन कॉस टेंजेंट को सीकेंट सीकेंट एंड को टेंजेंट आई होप यू हैव you are clear now with all the concepts which we have covered today now today introduction part we are done tomorrow first exercise of this chapter trigonometry we will start okay thank you